Good morning everybody, I am ACSWindom125 and today we are going to be going to Gen Con in Indianapolis. Uh, today is Sunday, August 20th. Uh, the time is currently 8.35. Nice, bright and sunny outside. If you can even see out there, the glare is intense so, I'm, so I can't even see it. On my iPad screen, but you just have to take my word for it that the spray that's there outside. Uh, um, we're bringing along Toy Network Sonic because I like to bring him in public places and in, in place of the Jazzwares one because he's a lot bigger and less likely to get lost. Um, Chikorita because she represents Pokemon Dark Chronicles and Pokemon will be there. Um, Luigi, because I bring him every single year to attach to my lanyard, and a Game Boy Advance SP, black Game Boy Advance SP with Crash Bandicoot 2 and Tranced in the cartridge slot. I can see, I want to see if I can finally beat the second boss today, um, on that game. I have a lot of Game Boy Advance games, so this one hasn't gotten the most playtime out of it yet, so I kind of want to play it, because it's really fun. I, re I really recommend this game, if you ever get a Game Boy Advance, which you should, because Game Boy Advances are amazing, and you should buy one. Now, you guys, you don't know this, most likely, because I forget if I deleted the video, but I tried to make a vlog like this last year of my experiences going to Gen Con, and... That plan, I, f I think I remember that plan falling through because I couldn't upload since I had so much on my iPad at the time that I couldn't upload it. Stupid planning on my part. But in that trip, that was the exact same trip where I got the Mew plush I got last year and Ampharos right here. The Great Ampharos! That's where I got him, and he's super soft and super fluffy, um, and I got him from Gen Con at the Pokemon place. As well, Gen Con has a lot of other things to offer, so I wanted to, you know, make a little quick vlog for you guys, because, hey, if you can't be there, maybe you can see a bit of it for yourself through this video, so I'll see you in the car. We've seen a couple of stands with some Pokemon merchandise, but that's not what we're here for. What we're here for is the legendary Pokemon Center itself. So, we're on the hunt for that, so we will find that soon. Look, it's everybody's favorite Fetismon. Yeah. Twice. Yeah, so we found that there is actually no Pokemon Center. This is a Japanese plush shop right here. You have lots of anime. It's a VA. Um, it's basically anime movies. But we have Glaceon, Cyndaquil, which we already have a uh, Gengar. Uh, Fat Mewtwo is the star of the show here, clearly. Fat Mewtwo. Something about this just seems so right. And look, there's more over there. There's 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 more over there. You can see the Jigglypuff and Venusaur. There's still more. There's so many Pokemon stuff here because Everybody has to improvise with it with what they have since there's no actual Pokemon Center this year. Alright, another anime stand. We have incredibly soft Pichu right here. And he's also hanging out. We have Pikachu in I guess Eevee cocoons, okay. Um, and a ditto stocking. If you wanted a ditto for Christmas, now you can. Oh Wobbuffet. 
I think Sonic found a friend or an enemy, whichever you prefer. It's Goku. He's got Super Saiyan. Looks good out of shape, but he's Goku. Game Boy Mystery Box. What's inside? Nobody knows. At first, the magnitude of this doesn't seem as cool as you think. But then, it hits you. Yes, there's a portion of Gen Con in a football stadium on the actual football field. Amazing. It's a giant troll. And by, by giant, I mean... So here we are back at home. I'm sorry that I didn't film too much after the vendor hall. Um, that at that point I was just having too much fun being at Gen Con to really think about recording anything. But we did, against all odds, and by all odds I mean my parents weren't initially wanting to get me anything. We got a new plush, and it's a Pokemon. Glaceon! Yes, we now have Glaceon. Glacy the Glaceon, as I call her. Who will be making her grand debut sometime this winter in a brand new Pokemon Dark Chronicles episode. Remember when uh, they mentioned, like in episode 9, that Manaphy and the rest of the team were heading north? Assuming we get snow this year, that's what they were talking about. Uh, I want to film an episode in the snow, and the point being that they're up north and, like, somewhere near this world's version of Sinnoh, which is why Glaceon is there. Uh, initially I wanted a Leafeon so we could make a Shadow Forest episode, um, but Leafeon can wait for a little while longer. I'm still gonna get Leafeon eventually. Um, but, yeah, I'm really nice, I'm really glad to have this Glaceon, uh, clearly, she has some problems, like, she, her little leather pieces here are sort of bent, because she was crammed in there. Her face isn't the best in the world, looks a bit derpy, and if you go like that, it looks even worse, um, and... Stop hiding your condition. Stop hiding your condition. Uh, yeah, her her left leg is um, understuffed when compared to her right leg. But aside from all those, I really like this gr this girl. She's nice. She's a really nice blush. Um, and I look forward to using her in episodes. Plus, she was fifteen dollars, so. Yeah, wait, just putting it out there that she will be making her grand debut this winter in a new Pokemon Dark Chronicles episode. Um, so yeah, that happened. Now, uh, I'm gonna get to sleep, I'm tired, I'm sore in every single place you can think of, um, don't take that the wrong way. And as well, I have school tomorrow, and I forgot to study for, study for Spanish class, so that's going to be fun. Also, I will be posting a video tomorrow, and yeah. So, I hope you all enjoy that, and it's eventually posted. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow for that video. Assuming I get it out in time. Peace!